There are lots of ways to observe the weather and our environment. But even with all these observing systems, we don't really know what may be happening everywhere. Storms can track in between weather stations, and satellites and radars can't give us all the details. Is it a thunderstorm? A tornado? A cloud of locusts? Ooh. Meteorologists and Earth scientists need the best observing system out there. You. Nothing can tell us what is happening better than your eyes. But please, don't send us your eyes. We would like the next best thing, a picture. The Field Photo Library and its partners are creating a huge database of pictures to help create a kind of Earth selfie. By showing what landscapes look like in a particular place at a particular time, we can document conditions of drought, fire, flood, wildlife, agriculture, water quality, climate, urban development, land use, and much more. Contributing is really as simple as one, taking pictures, and two, uploading them to the database. Perhaps the easiest way to do all of this is with a smartphone with a built-in GPS, using the free Field Photo app available in the Apple and Google Play stores. But with all of the gadgets out there, a fancy phone isn't required. All that's necessary is a camera to take your photo, the ability to get GPS coordinates of the exact spot where you took the photo, and the ability to upload it to the website. There are even special events throughout the year called Field Photo Weekends, when contributors are called to action to take multiple images specifically designed to be the most helpful for scientists and resource managers. Once you've chosen a camera option, it's time to take some pictures. The goal is to get a wide open shot that shows how the land is being used and managed. Ideally, you want to take a series of pictures in an open area at your standing height. Take separate pictures facing north, west, east, and south while standing on the same spot. Then take a picture directly down where you were standing, without your feet in it, of course. One more picture looking up will help as well. Pictures of your pets, silly happenings, big obstructions, and selfies aren't very helpful in this context. If you are using a smartphone app, you can add extra data to your description and upload photos when you have access to Wi-Fi. You can also choose to make your photos private or available to others. If you don't have the app, you're still able to do all of those same functions online. There you can search and browse photos by date, location, type of land cover, or by keywords. There is also a map view which allows you to zoom in and look at photos in different parts of the world. That brings us back to the main event, the Field Photo Weekend. Four times a year, President's Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and Labor Day, when everybody is outside having fun, volunteers take pictures of landscapes that respond to variations in moisture. Places like pastures, reservoirs, streams, lakes, cultivated crops, trees, irrigation ditches, meadows, snow-covered peaks, or the like. While capturing each direction is great, what is most important is that the picture is taken on the same spot of the same area over time. That allows us to see changes over time in that one specific place. And when it's done over the course of field photo weekends, you can get valuable data over the growing season. Continue that process over years, and now we really have some awesome data. Comparing pictures from a wide variety of places can help us understand what severe weather and drought looks like in different places. Because as you might have guessed, a severe drought in a desert may look very different compared to a severe drought in the wetlands. These photos will help scientists estimate drought conditions in any given area just by looking at the landscape. The more photos you help add to it, the more valuable it becomes. Contributing to the Field Photo Library isn't just fun, it helps you get out and connect with your environment. So grab a camera and go take some pictures that will make a real difference. I think you get the picture. <laughs>